Approximately 120 babies per year are exposed to their father's metformin use may account for two additional birth defects each year. What is up everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907wire.com coupon code Russo. ASMR spritz intelligent hydrogen. Um, people are asking me how this smells. I don't know. You guys are going to have to buy it and find out. I will say it's much heavier than intelligent elephant carbon. But today's topic is metformin. So metformin is commonly used in obese people to control blood sugar and more importantly for this channel used in blood glucose management with things in the growth hormone pathway, whether that be IGF-1, growth hormone, CJC with DAC, any of the growth hormone facilitating peptides and everyone's favorite oral growth hormone secretagogue MK677. Metformin is one of those things that people utilize pretty like, you know, like gym candy to control their blood sugar levels. So that's the real problem is that I understand if you're using metformin and you're being prescribed metformin, you probably have a doctor who is gonna tell you this, maybe not, but here I am gonna tell you this anyways, that, you know, if you wanted to have a child, you need to get off metformin three months prior to conceiving. So this has been brought to my attention to definitely, you know, bring forth to my audience to showcase that, you know, if you're thinking about having a kid or you're on tons of metformin and some accident happens that this is a potential dice roll that you need to be aware of. And overall, I think doctors should be educating heavily about metformin causing these birth defects and to wean off their patients if they are trying to have a child. It more applies to my audience because metformin is literally used used as like a pharmaceutical GDA in my opinion and it's used so casually that you could have no idea that this is what's led to your child's birth defects and this is something that needs to get out there into the underground of biohacking so Stanford medicine diabetes drug linked to genital birth defects and baby boys boys were more likely to be born with genital birth defects if their fathers took the commonly prescribed diabetes drug metformin in the three months before conception it goes on to say that these results suggest that metformin affects the men's reproductive health in a way that can harm their sons through mechanisms that are still unclear. Yet up here, one of the MDs says, given that men contribute half of the DNA to a child, it makes sense that there could be some effects that travel through parental pathways as well. So again, metformin not looking good. Sperm takes about three months to fully mature. Fathers who filled a prescription for a diabetes drug during the three months before conception were considered to have exposed their offspring to the drug. This is the big study from 1997 to 2016 where they are digging through all the birth data and trying to correlate the metformin risk. Of the 1,116,799 babies included in the study, 3.3% had at least one major birth defect and over 51% were born boys. Among the 1,451 babies exposed to metformin, 49.4% were male and the rate of birth defects was 5.2% in particular. Genital birth defects were more common. These rates mean that in Denmark, where today approximately 120 babies per year are exposed to their father's metformin use, may account for two additional birth defects each year. Again, I'll have Andrew link this actual study. What are you guys going to take away from this? This. you're going to take away from if your friend is trying to have a kid and he's on metformin whether that be for bodybuilding or his obesity you don't want the son with genital birth defects from what it's saying the genital defects such as hypospadias when the urethra does not exit the tip of the penis were relatively rare occurred in 0.9 percent of babies who took metformin three months before conception now you just multiply that as metformin becomes more and more and more popular. These are birth defects that can all be avoided if we ring the alarm bell on metformin and that you just got to get off it. You got to get off it for three months. You got to go through some cycles of sperm, get the sperm that's not exposed to that drug and then conceive. There, there should be no reason with this information going mainstream in the underground that we can't save more of these situations from happening. And I wanted to bring this to light. If 
if you guys want to research the study i'll have andrew link it down below but it's not looking good it's really not looking good with metformin because i don't know i just like for me just looking into metformin the way it was like presented to me is like oh it's this better gda you can keep your blood glucose levels in check no matter how much gh or 677 you're running and it's like overall great for obesity every obese person gets prescribed it thought it was relatively safe here i am seeing that if you have an accidental conception you know on this drug you're raising the general birth effect of your potential son by a pretty marginal degree where they've already tried to disprove it gotta get the information out there if you're having a kid get off metformin wait three months then start trying don't want to roll that dice on that statistic if you have an accidental conception on metformin you now know the situation you're in we need to get this information out there i will see you guys in my next video